with the features. Hello guys, welcome to Boxy Blocks and the home of Nigerian Rebels and please if you need to channel, make sure you click on the subscription ah, too fast. But let's just go straight with the education right now. Now um for the award they knocked out David Adelaide in the seventh round with precision pressure too much sauce for Adelaide to handle. We have to keep it real right here. Adelaide did get um, the better of uh, awardly in the early rounds. The fight was a total war. Total war. I have to give credits to Wardley. Big credits to Wardley because he did what a lot of people didn't expect him to do. Of course, we might say, yeah, he's the better fighter or something like that, but we know Wardley have been a little bit stopped, basically like wobbled and stuff like that. Like, there's been some, you know, some some sort of a, um, yeah, some sort of like dent in Wardley's game, but didn't show tonight. I'm so kind of like surprised and amazed as well. Let's go around with Ibrahim to give his take on this right here. Ibrahim, what do you make of uh, Wardley's performance against David Adelaide? Knocking out Adelaide. Ha! Now, wow. Bro, do you know what? I, I, I haven't actually seen the fight. I'm not going to lie. I haven't seen the fight. I've just been trying to get commentary. I've only just been able to get in now to actually um, just seeing um, just seeing Wardley with his bet around his shoulders. But listen. All I can say is, this is what they always say about, about the fight game. Before the fight starts, you're like, one of you is talking nonsense. I don't know which one it is, but one of you is talking nonsense and we're going to find out. And now we have, you know what I'm saying? Because David was talking that like, you're not from the ends like I'm from the ends, yeah? You're not a bad boy like I'm a bad boy. Yeah, he was talking all that talk, yeah? But listen, once you get into the ring, Oh, that doesn't matter, yeah. And from the sounds of it, it sounds like he's been showed the levels. At the end of the day, Woodley, he is the British champ. He is the one that's fought the better opposition. And you know, from the sounds of it, it sounds like he's just he's shown down the ring. But I haven't actually seen it, so I can't really comment too much on you know the ramp around or whatever. Yeah. So yeah, um, I understand, bro. Uh, Ty Jagbe, Ty Jagbe, your take. You know what bothers me about this whole, <laughs> the whole fight, man. Listen, I don't know, I don't know what Adelaide is, but that's the disrespect to your name. I'm not saying your name correctly, like whitewashing it, whitewashing it as much as possible. Who the hell is Adelaide? Bro, say the guy's name correctly, man. <laughs> what the fuck? If I was that guy, I'd be pissed off. Like, really? You're calling my name? You're whitewashing my name? That's the only thing that pissed me off besides knowing that was going to happen to this guy. Do you know what, you though, know? bro? Do you know what, though? Just being in England as well, as well, I'll tell you about that, about that stuff there. See that stuff there, bro? Yeah. Like, so, so, like, I had an employer that I was working for for over two years. And I mean, my name's not even that Ibrahim, come on. Like, it's not even like, and that's my name, bro. Ibrahim, very simple. This guy could not get my name right. It get to a point where I just allowed it in it. It's just like, like it just, Ibrahim, Ibrahim. That's what these guys are calling me, Ibrahim. <laughs> 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 I swear to God. <laughs> bro, out of it. I'd have been so pissed, man. Bro, like, really, bro. after a point, you just that allow it. Because my, my initial instinct was to be like you know what it's on a delay like he should have been telling them like this is how you say my name but i just replayed my own situation and said bro yeah. just be quiet man do you know what i'm saying like this is <laughs> he probably tried for time and then just gave up do you know what i mean <laughs> listen my my if, if that was my uh my my uh, family man, they would be pissed they were pissed but africans they take lightly to that last name man they like yo that's not how you say that name though so that's how you say that. Man. They always repeat it. They always For correct. Real. Like, yeah, man, they get pissed. I, I get pissed when people say my name wrong. 
you know. But listen, I I really like the way he the way I knew between them two, he was more the physical guy, and and what what, what he was just a little bit above him when it comes to tech, being technical. It didn't play it didn't play really a big difference. Um, the fight was okay, oh, man. These guys these guys are they got if I'm not mistaken these guys they got um some education behind them you know and you could you could you could just i'm trying to be i'm trying to be as nice as possible when it comes to this fight bro um, okay adewale what about you what's the take on this fire are you oh you want to know my thoughts um i did like yeah going into this fight he was talking a big game and talking about being a bad boy and unfortunately that's not how boxing works your skills will determine if you would come out victorious and going into this fight i knew that wardley is a better fighter in general because i have seen fabio wardley go into a fight and showcase a high level of heart you know if you have heart and you have limited skills your huge heart gives you a good opportunity to come out victorious so i just knew that fabio wardley was the favorite and if you checked out the odds the betting odds i believe wardley came into that fight at minus 300 but that's a huge gap so I'm not surprised how the fight how the fight turned out. I'm a little bit disappointed in Adelaide using a lot of elbow, putting his elbow in Fabio Wardley's face. I'm a little bit disappointed in what in Adelaide not um, trying to show off. He was showboating while getting his ass whipped, and I just don't get it. What's wrong with this guy? It's not you're not there to impress. Um, people you're there to come out victorious and protect yourself wardley threw a overhand right and he missed and adelaide did that thing that billy joe saunders did when david lemieux threw i believe it was a, a looping left hook and missed you remember um this guy just turned around just basically showboated you know what i'm saying and that's crazy man but either ways congratulations to fabio wardley he is a better fighter well-deserved victory although people might argue that the stoppage came a little bit early i don't think it did because this crazy guy david adelaide and i don't mean any disrespect to my guy david he's still my he's still my odudua republic brother but this guy got knocked down viciously viciously his mouth bleeding and all this guy is still showboating while laying down on the ground. He stuck his tongue out, bro. Man, this man is... I don't think he has a long way to go in boxing. I am so sorry to say this. I wish him the best. Hopefully, he can find a new situation that would give him better training techniques and improve, you know, his fighting style. He used a good jab. I mean, he was successful using the jab maybe 50% of the time. But then a jab is not enough to keep away a determined guy with good power punches like Fabio Wardley. So salutes to Fabio Wardley. Congratulations to him. Well-deserved victory. And that was a good fight for the heavyweight division as well, too. Because it's been dead for so long. So I'm happy this happened. That's my sure take on this. Guys, you heard it from our brother Dewale. State for Mr. Baraya. We'll be right back. God bless you all. Cheers. <laughs>